Hello everybody, Shelly here. I don't have any eyeshadow on because today we're getting into the new, I guess I still have the box, I could show you the box too. This is the new Too Faced Pumpkin Spice. This is their fall collection, fall palette that they just came out with. I wasn't gonna get it right away, I thought I would wait until October to pick it up, if it was still available. My husband was like, hey, you're gonna get it anyway, might as well pick it up. So I picked up the lip, I've got that on right now as well as the palette, which we'll get into here in a minute. And when I purchased it from Ulta, I actually got a set of, this is like gift with purchase, award-winning minis. It's got a hangover uh, face primer, better than sex mascara, and one of their bronzers. Okay, so let's get into this palette. Now, this is not a first impression video because I got it and then have already been playing with it because I thought it was kind of fun. I don't smell any pumpkin spice on it. it. Seems like a lot of their stuff is scented. Like I know this bronzer is scented. The lip I think is kind of like pumpkin-y, spicy, pumpkin lattes. I don't know, pumpkin spice latte. Not really pumpkin pie, maybe, with a lot of whipped cream. Anyway, okay you guys, I'm tired of looking at my eyes without anything on it. So we're gonna get into a couple different looks I think I wanna do today. And I, I'm gonna try something that I haven't already done. The first shade is called A La Mode. And that's this one right here. It's kind of a tannish matte color. It is a tin palette, if you're not familiar with them. And I didn't buy the last two years, the seasonal palettes. I felt at the time that I had a lot of other palettes going on. And now while I have even more, I, I find myself like, oh yes, I need that one for fall. I think one of the things that I, I like about this palette and something that I don't like about the palette First of all, I like the pan size. It's a good enough size that you can get, you know, your brush in it. I find that the narrow pans, the really narrow ones, I just, I struggle with those. I feel like I get the pan dirty and I just don't enjoy it as much. I also like that they don't have like your traditional fall colors in here. I mean, they have some of them, right? I, I expect to see pumpkin-y colors. I expect to see cranberry colors, but I kind of also expect to see mustards and uh, greens as well. And I don't really get a ton of that in this. Like I don't have like a dark forest green in this palette. I've got a couple other sort of greenish tinge ones. These ones right here, actually all three of these, I guess you could say kind of have a green tinge, but when I get this on my eye, I mean, it's a grungy brown, but it's definitely not a, um, any kind of green in my opinion my untrained non-professional eye. I like the color story. I like the, I like the pan size. What I don't, it's not that I don't like it, but what I don't care for it. I don't really, I don't really get into the whole like themed. I mean, this looks like pumpkin pie. It, you've got the pumpkin pie crust. You've got the pumpkin pie. You've got the whipped cream writing on it. And I guess there's something cute about that, but it's not really something that I require. All right, I am gonna use Love You A Latte, which is this one down here. It's reading a little bit pink in the camera, but it's actually kind of a pumpkin colored, kind of a reddish, brownish color. And of course, I'm just putting this on the outer portion of my eye and dragging it up here a little bit. So this video is gonna go up probably about a week uh, to a week and a half after I'm filming it. And so I apologize for the delay. It's, I already have my videos for next week scheduled to go up. So I'm just gonna leave them the way they are and leave these ones and a couple other new releases for the following week. Point is, sometimes when I do these videos, what I say is old news. It's not fake news, but it's old news by the time you know, the video goes live. <clears throat> so right now, and I'm hoping that in a week and a half when this goes up, that won't be a problem anymore, but we've been having horrible, horrible smoke problems in Washington state, as is everywhere on the, on the West coast. So, I mean, California is burning up. Oregon's got a ton of fires. Washington state has a ton of fires. I think we had 58 start just like in the course of a couple days or a day. And the air quality is just miserable, which frankly, the Eastern side of the state that I live on, we do get a lot of, a lot of smoke, a lot of fires every few years. Like we haven't had any really bad ones since like 2015. And the few little ones we've had have been pretty well contained. And I think all of our bad ones actually have been arson starts, which is just miserable. I'm feeling very warm right now. I need to lighten up the situation here. And I guess to sound cliche, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with pumpkin spice, which is this orange. We're just gonna take that all over the movable lid. 
what's left of. This is just a, you know, typical fall look, right? Do oranges, do some browns. It's actually a really pretty color. Anyway, air quality is really, really bad here. And you know, you just get that sinus stuff with a lot of smoke, at least I do. I think it's a, a allergic to the smoke or just irritation from the smoke. Anyway, I am, um, I've got a, like less energy, but makeup is my release. So I'm taking a little bit of that. I've still got the same brush and it's the same pumpkin spice. I'm just gonna drag it underneath my eyes down here a little bit. So we're playing with makeup because I'm tired of the smoke. As far as a warm fall look, man, this stuff is so easy to blend in. I guess another good thing I like about this formula is just the sheer ability to blend easily. Warm, soft, largely matte. Did I use any shimmers at all? No, not a single shimmer. And I normally put there at least one in there. I'm not gonna do any shimmers. But there is this shade called Whipped Cream right here, which has a slight pink undertone to it. And we're gonna put that right there. Kind of brightens it up a little bit without being, hey, you're wearing a frosty white right there. All right, I'm not upset by that at all. Actually, I think that's quite a nice, quite a nice shade. Okay, guys, first look down, super easy, all mattes, which is unusual for me. But is this a look that I would leave the house in? Yeah. Now, do you need this palette just on that look alone? I don't know. I don't know. Let's, you know what? Let's go a little bit more and let's see if we can find something that sets this apart from other fall inspired palettes. So I'm going to take this off. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I used a little of the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyelid primer. I did not use any eyelid primer in the first look. So in case it looks a little bit different, this eyelid primer I've been playing with lately and I noticed that it does dry down pretty quickly and pretty matte and it doesn't really have any grip. Some people, some people seem to really like their eyelid primers to have a lot of grip to it to hold the uh, eyeshadow. Sometimes I find that that makes it really patchy. So I guess it's personal preference, but for me personally, I'm not upset that this dries down kind of matte. I'm gonna use, I wanna go in with this, sh oh, you know what? The, the, last, the last look that I did, I didn't start with a la mode like I thought I did. Actually started with Sweetie Pie. The labels are up above and I was looking underneath. So where I thought I was starting with this one and I was calling it a la mode, it's actually Sweetie Pie. And this one down here, this pink is actually called a la mode. Sorry for the confusion. But we're gonna go ahead and just take that color that is the true a la mode and let's just buff that in here. Pretty just matte shade. I think this color actually would be a nice work shade. Just real subtle. Again, a good color with glasses if you are a glass wearer or reading glasses, whatever the case may be. I wasn't gonna drag it all the way over, but now as I'm getting in here, I'm kind of liking that. So the first look I did, I used the shade Sweetie Pie and then I did Spice Spice Baby and then I used Pumpkin Spice, just in case you were curious or you're following along. I just used a la mode and now I'm going into Love You a Latte, which is this kind of mm, mauve color. And again with the mattes, this, this eyeshadow palette does have shimmers, but I feel like I'm just kind of dipping into these mattes right now. Has your eyeshadow choices changed with the change of the season? Like, are you doing more mattes or different color stories? I'm I really like the Natasha Denona Glam palette. I've been using that quite a bit, but then I'm using this quite a bit too, which is really different. So I like palettes that have color stories like this, that you've got some purples, you've got some of these, like at this magenta color. You know what, I'm gonna use that. I think I'm gonna take that all over my lid. Trying something new. So we're trying the color You Spicy, which is this sort of fuchsia magenta-y color. It's called You Spicy. I'm gonna, and that's actually the real name. I'm gonna pack that all over my lid. We're gonna go up a little bit. We'll take a shimmer on top of it. Okay, if you guys don't use or haven't used these palettes, the formula, maybe because you thought that they were marketed towards a younger audience, I can tell you they actually blend very easily. 
I mean, and that there's not a cheap palette, right? I mean, it's still 49 bucks or whatever the case is for these. But I can tell you that the formula actually is really nice. It's for beginners, you know? I mean, I, I'm by no means a makeup expert. I'm not a makeup artist. You guys know this already. If I'm not a makeup artist, what I want is something that doesn't require me to have like this crazy level of skill or patience in blending. I just want to be able to put some stuff on, look pretty, and get out the door. And this formula actually works really well for me. I like that fuchsia, but I'm going to go back in with the Love You A Latte over the top because I feel like I need to kind of connect that shade and sort of darken it up a little bit. I honestly wouldn't have put these colors together initially, but now as I see them on, I'm not upset actually. I've got two pink shimmers in here that draw my attention. One of them is more of a shimmer than the other. So I'm going to take the color Oh My Gourd, I think is what it's called. I'm going to take this one right here. And we're going to, besides it's a shimmer, we're going to use my finger and go right over the center. Okay, that's pretty. I hadn't used that before and I like it. So, uh, something that happens with me and my close set eyes is sometimes I can, I can look a little cross-eyed with a halo eye look. So I'm going to take that same shade, oh my gourd, and I'm going to use it in the center here with the brush. And we're going to just hope that that, yeah, that looks a little bit better. Right, you guys, that feels kind of pretty and plummy. I feel like I lost some of that fuchsia, so I'm going to actually take that same brush and we're going to use it underneath my eyelashes, lower lashes. I'm going to put some eyeliner and mascara on and I'll be right back. Soft pink not something you would think with an orange colored palette, but I think it's very approachable. Like even that fuchsia when topped with this shimmery pink here, you lose like the intensity of that pink, which I think means you lose the intimidation factor of it. Okay, not upset with this at all. This, oh my gourd down here is just a really beautiful topper. I'm going to take this off and we're gonna come back with a third and final look back again for our third and final look with the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette. I think I'm gonna start with this kind of corally color called Fall For It. I feel like this is actually kind of an unexpected color because it's kind of orangey but it does have that sort of apricot-y peach and it's a really really pretty color. I do have more of that Anastasia Beverly Hills eyelid primer, but I put it over some heavy duty emollient cream because I don't want my eyes to get even more irritated. And I think that might be the combination. You put like a heavy duty emollient eye cream on first and then cover it up with that ABH eyelid primer. And because that dries down, it's almost like it locks in that moisturizer. I have not used the burgundy called Warm and Cozy. I have not used the purples really any of the purples and have not used the greens. I think I might have to do something with the burgundy and the green because isn't that kind of an unexpected combination? And so I'm going to use this color called Warm and Cozy. I'm just tapping it on to start with and then we'll drag it up here a little bit. So I was watching a video earlier on somebody had gotten the new Charlotte Tilbury palette and I do have the Pillow Talk palette. I think I filmed with it at one point in time but then I never actually edited it. I think it was, I think it had some corruption or something going on with the film. So if you want me to do a, a pillow talk Charlotte Tilbury uh, video, just let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Anyway, so there was like the new Eyes to Hypnotize, I think, or Eyes to Mesmerize, one of the two, one of the new ones. And uh, she was talking about the lack of mats. And that's interesting because I feel like this is mostly mats. And I've been getting so many palettes lately that seem like they're so full of shimmers that this is just actually really refreshing. And I feel like there's something very cozy about matte eyeshadows right now. I, I don't know where that's coming from or why I feel that way. I'm just sharing with you. I'm just softening that up a little bit so they match up. Love it. I need a clean brush. I'm gonna use the shade Falling For You, which is kind of like this shimmery green. We're gonna use that on a black brush. I'm just gonna load it up and we're gonna pack it all over. Oh, my husband's vacuuming again, I hear. Wow, that applied beautifully with the brush. 
I was not expecting that at all. Who knew greens and, and burgundies would be so pretty together? I'm gonna go into the shade that says Fall Vibes, just as a little bit right in the center. Oh my gosh, I love, love those greens. The, the greens and that burgundy, wow. Why don't I ever wear those as combinations? This is really pretty. This is definitely the more creative of the looks. The first two looks, I would say, are you know completely daytime appropriate ladies of a certain age. I like those colors. I almost feel like I could go a little darker with the purple, truth be told. So I'm going to take this darkest purple right here, and we're going to go over just the lash line above and below. This will probably take it to a whole nother level. That purple is so dark, it's almost a black. The greens and the purples remind me a little bit of Mardi Gras. I can put a, well, they don't have gold in here. That is funny. We don't actually have gold in here. We don't have a mustard and we don't have gold. I guess that's what makes this different than other fall palettes, huh? No, I can't leave well enough alone. I've got two other purples in here. One of them is called PSL and Chill, and one of them is called Want a Piece of Me. So this one is PSL and Chill, and this one's Want a Piece of Me. I think I'm gonna do this one, which almost looks like a metallic. We're gonna keep using that underneath the eye just to kind of soften up that other purple. And again, a shimmer down below my lower lash line is dangerously close to crepiness, and so I might have to go back in and do a little cleanup. All right, you guys, look number three. And I love this. I love this for something unexpected, something completely different, something that feels pretty, feels still approachable, but is completely different with the purples and the greens and the pinks, and I just love the way that looks. Would I call this fall? I guess. I just, I, I would wear this in the summer too. I'd, I'd wear it in the spring. I really like the way those greens are. The greens, I think, to me, are the absolute winner of the entire palette. And I love the mattes. The mattes blend out beautifully, but this green right here and that green, perfect. This shade called uh, PSL and Chill, I got a lot of fallout, and I did try to do it underneath my eye, and I found I'd travel all the way down here. So I'd say that maybe that's probably more of a use a fingertip or use a damp brush to apply that shadow. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm getting makeup on myself. The, the two pieces in this collection are fantastic. I have zero issues recommending it, especially for fall. If you're looking for a good seasonal fall palette, because you know the shelf life on them, you should only have them open for a year, sometimes two, depending on, you know, the life expectancy of your eyeshadow palettes. And we tend to keep them open for a lot longer. I do, because I try so many new palettes that I have palettes that I tried that I, I probably need to look at the dates on them and make sure they don't need to go away. But I think if they still are good and they still perform well, then can you keep them? I mean, I guess that's it's kind of up to you. The lip. It's a matte lip. It does dry down matte. It might be too dark for some people. Like, I don't mind it. It's not a horrible color, but I'm actually going to take a lip oil over the top of it. I might even take a, a softer nude, or like a lighter nude. Maybe one of the Juvia's Place nudes that I don't reach for because they're too light. Final look. Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette. Yeah, if you're looking for a seasonal palette, by all means, knock yourself out. $49, I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't get anything in PR, but I did kind of work it a little bit. I think I had a, I had a $10 off, $40 purchase that include prestige, and then I had like $36 in points. So I think I paid like $14 for the palette. An unusual circumstance, I'm just saying, keep an eye on those Ulta sales if you are interested in any of the high-end stuff because man, that's a way to do it. Or get uh, do the Sephora ones where you can cash in like 500 points for $10 off. I mean, any, any little bit helps. Pumpkin spice, fall. I need a pumpkin spice latte. I'm proud to say I have zero issues with pumpkin spice lattes. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna get out of here here. If you are not a subscriber, please subscribe before you go. I would be forever grateful. I'm gonna try to do a giveaway at 250 subscribers, so let's try to get me there. I do upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 3 p.m. Pacific time, typically. I think I had one that accidentally went up at 3 a.m. Sometimes I throw in a Saturday 10 a.m. Uh, video if I've got something going on. I just received my boxy charm subscription, so I'm going to film that next. Maybe that'll go up on Saturday. So anyway, hope you guys are doing really well, and feel free to follow me over on Instagram, and until my next video, bye for now.